All things come about by virtue of the field. So intention is you snip the apple, falls to the ground. You did not cause it to fall to the ground. You establish a condition in which a pre-existent, infinitely powerful field. If it wasn't for the field of gravity, the apple would hang up and you'd snip it off and it would stay right there in space, wouldn't it? All right, so the power of intention, that's why I like Wayne Dyer's book, Power of Intention, because intention then is what the trigger. All you have to do is intention. Therefore, I like the work of Rupert Sheldrake, you know, who uh, first postulated formative causation, that all phenomena come about first within the field of consciousness. They then manifest within the world. And we use the example of the Empire State Building. One day a guy was bored, he had his feet up on the desk, and he's fiddling, and he thinks, Jesus, what if we just created the tallest building in the world? I think in 1933 or whenever it was, it was the tallest building in the world. And we'll put it right on, what is it, 34th Street? And uh, so anyway, the Empire State Building was just a thought in this guy's head, you know? Then he got enamored of it and told his friends about it. His wife said, that's a good idea. George, whatever his name was, and uh, he sketches it out. And from there, the whole world becomes energized. Unions, Native American uh, steelworkers, uh, banks financing, all the legality. Think of all they had to go through with zoning and permissions. And <laughs> Anybody tried to put up a doghouse in the back of their yard, I don't know what that is. <laughs> the paperwork is this high, you know. <laughs> Imagine what it took. But as you see, it was merely held in mind, right? And then whew, appeared within the phenomenal world. So what was the cause then? Whoever the guy was with his feet upon the desk and the doodle board didn't have the power to create that huge building. In fact, it went up in one year flat. One year flat. <laughs> Remarkable feat. He didn't have that kind of power, energy, or money. But the thought did when energized with the intention. So then it manifested within the domain, and the power behind it is the power of creation, because evolution and creation are one and the same thing. Well, the ridiculous argument about it is so dumb. I mean, it's like third grade imbecility. Evolution is creation. What did you think it was? <laughs> <laughs> evolution is creation unfolding, that's all. Creation unfolds progressively. Otherwise, it would have been all over before we got here. <laughs> creation, well, that happened a few millennia ago, and you weren't around, so. <laughs> Guess you missed it, buddy. <laughs> 